Good morning. So today I'm making a video because today is an exciting day. Today is the first race of the season. So excited. Like I can't wait. It's been months since I've raced. I think the last race I did was in October. It's at the Brownlee circuit. It's quite a nice circuit. Um, it's got a little bit of a hill in it, but not too much of a hill. So one of the races I raced there got into a breakaway. So hopefully, fingers crossed, do the same thing today. Just watching my teammates in the, well, what was the Healthy Aging Tour uh, for a bit of inspiration. So the plan for today, because uh, it's still quite early season, when I get into more miles than just the race, because the race is only about an hour, I think, is to ride to the race. Well, I think it's about 22 miles, 25 miles, I might make it a bit longer. Um, so ride out to the race, can we keep it steady, zone two, um, get to the race, and then hopefully smash it. Breakfast of champions, big bowl of pancakes. Yeah. Okay, so I thought I'd do a bit of a voiceover for you guys to make it a bit more interesting. Um, this is my Strava for the ride to the race. Um, I did a bit of a warm-up. Thankfully, my mum and dad were there, so they could bring the rollers, um, bring me some warm clothes. Did a bit five-minute spin on the rollers just to warm up. Uh, thanks to my mum for taking these videos, by the way. Couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> uh, put my number on, got ready to go. We all rolled out for a sighting lap. Um, there'd been a crash in the race earlier, so we only got one lap, which was fine because I knew the circuit. Uh, rolled up to the start, had a quick chat from the comm, and then set off. And then right from the gun, Louise attacked. Um, after I was saying we were going to have a nice, easy start to the race, there she is, you can just see, um, with another rider. Um, myself and someone else were chasing her down. Um, Louise is really good at time trialling, so I didn't want her to get away. You can see here, we we've just come back together, but it's really strung out. People are starting to get dropped and we're only on like the second lap. So then after a couple of laps, we're all back together. It kind of has bunched up a bit. Um, everyone's relaxing. Well, I say relaxing, we're getting our breath back <laughs> after the hectic couple of first laps. Um, so this is us just passing through the finish line. A little bit about the circuit. So you can see here, it's about a one, two percent climb up from the finish line. Um, this is my favourite of the course because it's quite fast, but it can still put a bit of burn in your legs if you're kicking it up there. You go around to the top, uh, you can see it's just rolling around there. You go up towards the left, hairpin, back down the hill. Um, the wind was coming right to left as you look at that picture there. And then this girl broke away, crazy. I think we just sat up. I think everyone was a bit gassed from the effort of catching Louise. And the gap went out massively straight away as you can see from this um video louise went to try and bridge across um she didn't quite get there uh, myself and another girl the same guy actually were trying to um, make sure she didn't stay away uh, we caught louise but then the kind of chase went out of the bunch and i think at this point um i think her name was emma the one in the lead she had about a 20 second gap as you can see from this clip so that was her that she just went through and she had about a 20 second gap on us so um, we all just sat up and I think we kind of decided we were going to race for second because there was no way we were going to catch her. She was absolutely flying. She had one of those no pins aero skin suits. We shouldn't have known that she was going to go for a breakaway. So you can see how big the gap is, gosh. Um, and there we are. And the bunch is so reduced there, you can see. And this is the finish. Um, it was quite a slow last lap. I don't have the best sprint from slow laps. And I crossed the line fifth from the bunch um, and sixth overall. And here's my third.
thank you for watching um, the video. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, definitely some things to work on, but a lot of positives from take from that. I felt really strong, um, felt like my power was there. Um, just a bit of the top ends to work on, a bit of sprinting, um, which I've got planned into my training for the next few weeks. And I love a bit of sprinting, so it'd be nice to get some speed back into the legs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more. Um, more racing coming up, more videos. Um, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.